What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's a relatively cooling day and today <laughs> I'm gonna bring you over to my friend's clinic, the KL Sky Clinic, because I'm gonna get myself tested for the PCR test. I'll tell you more of that story later, but first let's roll intro. Making my way downtown. First you scan, and then here we are. So I'm at the clinic now, and I just want to get myself tested because you just don't know really of um, what or who you've been in contact with. And I have been out quite a fair bit for clients, for work, working out. So best to do the test, and you're gonna watch me do the test. I've done the test before, but I'm just doing it again because I just want to be extra safe. Best scenario is obviously I'm negative. The thoughts of like, what if I'm a carrier? What if I could be positive? And is it gonna hurt? A lot of thoughts went through my head. This time, I'm a lot calmer and I'm like, there's no point in worrying because worrying is not gonna make the test go away. Worrying is not gonna make the pandemic go away. Worrying is just going to make me more frustrated and probably reduce my immunity. So just take a chill pill, do the test, pray about it, have a peace of mind. The nerves and the door has opened. <laughs> Here's my good friend, Dr. Roland. Hello. He's got a really cool YouTube channel with lots of informative stuff as well. But today he is in the suit to, well, stick something through my throat and my nose. So Doc, you want to take me through the process? So of this what's... is a PCR test. So we've got two swabs to do. One is a nasal swab. Nasal swab. And then the next one is the throat swab. So we actually start with the throat swab first. Because it's <sighs> much more comfortable. So you can see I've suited up so that I don't have any uh, particles splattered <laughs> into my face. <laughs> That's the only reason. Okay. So we're going to insert one in the nose. And then, second one the throat, okay? So we start with the throat one first because it's much more easier. <laughs> okay. So you can actually sit down. I don't want to sit, I'm going to stand. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Yeah, I know, but still. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, then. Not too bad. <laughs> and then he does that. The next one. <sighs> I remember I did the last time, my sinuses cleared up, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. <laughs> so which nasal <laughs> This is not a laughing matter. Which nostril? You choose. Can I do both? Can I do both? <laughs> just okay. pick the left. Okay. The left, huh? Okay, right. let's look up a bit. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna Breathe. be as slow as I can. Okay. okay. Um, And then... Ooh! I'm telling you, sinus is cleared up on one side. Mmm, that stung a little bit. It's not as bad, really it's not. Can you do the other nostril talk? <laughs> <laughs> I'm weird like that, okay? I mean, I am. My honest opinion, guys, when you're doing the test is to... I don't like to sit. I think it's better when you stand, just mentally, because like when you sit, like the pathway, airway, it just kind of gets closed up and then you just kind of freak yourself out a bit more. But for me, standing is way better. We got the samples here. You can leave the room now. Okay. I'm done the test and now finally I'm going to understand more about the different kinds of COVID testings that we have in the market. And Doc here is going so. to explain it to me and to you. Here we have the three kinds of tests in the market in Malaysia currently. We've got the rapid test, which is testing for the antibodies, correct doc? Okay. Say you already have possibly exposed to the virus and you have the virus or so your body is making antibodies, then you'll find out there. This is the rapid PCR test and this one is the PCR test, which is a golden standard. Okay, exactly. let's break it down. Okay, so this is the RT-PCR. So this is technically the gold standard test done. So what is going to be done is uh, two swaps, one into the oral cavity, one into the nasal cavity. So you can see this bristles here. 
very fine bristles so it goes right deep in so mm. it could be a bit unpleasant I have to tell you that uh, so one tip is just uh, make sure you have a glass of water just right after the test so at least you just quench the discomfort okay so this will be sent to the labs uh, it takes uh, as early as uh, in Kuala Lumpur at this current time uh, between 24 to 36 hours you should be able to get your test done okay then next comes to the antigen so the antigen is something uh, also similar to like how a PCR is done so but this is done rapidly on the spot so there's a special test set uh, that is available so we will do the swaps both on the nasal cavity and the oral cavity and then dip into a small liquid solution like this so you can see that so we actually just uh, get those bristles in and swivel it maybe for about a minute and then uh, there's a special cap here where we actually cap the, uh, the, the solution and then drop it into the uh, cassette and after that there's a buffer that's placed to push the electrophoresis up and to see whether there's any presence of any antigens in the cassette so if the antigen is positive the lines will come out positive covid then we know okay we have a positive case antigen means basically the protein of yeah, the virus or right the, yeah the protein or the hooks of the of the, of the, of the virus shape and pattern inside and then we have the igg and igm so it's immunoglobulin g and immunoglobulin m so these are types of immunoglobulin response when your body is exposed more maybe for a couple of days uh, so far it's between say between five to ten days we might achieve a response of uh, immunoglobulin so this uses uh, serum plasma so we either do a hand prick or a blood withdrawn from your arm and then the blood is then dropped into the the point of uh, the dropping point and then a buffer solution is placed to see as it pass the cassette to see whether there's a igg or igm response so if there's a igg or igm response then we know the person is already been exposed to the virus and the body has already started to develop an immune response towards the virus igg just means antibody right yes based on all these tests uh, different countries have a different approach uh, but the methods are almost the same some countries choose to have rapid uh, uh, antibody testing some countries prefer to have antigen testing some countries like Malaysia still prefers the PCR testing for example if you were to go on a flight or something like that then this would be the gold standard they want to see in the past 72 hours were you exposed exiting the country and then as you land into another country there's another one more test being carried out to making sure that you are free from the virus so let's talk about the pricing for each of the testing so the most uh, premium testing is still the RT-PCR so this goes from about 250 to about 400 ringgit in Kuala Lumpur at the moment uh, depends on the volume of patients uh, because they need to suit up the PPE and all the equipments that you need to, to wear during getting this screening done the second one goes to the uh, antigen antibody uh, kits this this both of them about 250 to 280 to 280 and that one it's about 150 to 200 ringgit i hope you found that informative and if you did please give it a like especially the dr roland because he is such a great educator and such an informative um person and if you haven't already head over to his channel which is doc yes guy cleaning do subscribe to his channel guys thank you so much for watching this video i really really hope you found it useful especially during this time and i think the main thing i want to say is whenever you do the test don't worry yourself out because leave the danger to us yes leave the danger to doc there will be nothing that anyone can say to make you feel secure and comfortable so the most i would say is pray about it let it let go leave it to god leave it to doc and then when you get the results you have a peace of mind we have fought off the flu for thousands of years right doc and we can do this too boost your immunity that is the main thing take care of your health anyway guys thanks so much for watching and if you haven't already please hit that like button subscribe to my channel hit that bell for notifications so you know when a new video is out stay safe wash your hands and may the gains be forever in your favor